Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this video, we are going to talk about Next.js 13 App Directory Routing. Recently, Next.js 13 released with many exciting features like App Directory Routing, Turbo Pack to boost performance, introduction to the new font module and many more. In this video, we are going to talk about the App Directory and understand how you can use the App Directory and create a routing inside Next.js application. One of the most loved features of Next.js is our file system routing. Drop a file inside a folder and you are able to instantly create a routes inside your application. No configuration required. This will add many useful features just like layout for easy shared UI between routes while preventing state and avoiding expensive re-renders. We are also going to have server components making server first the default for most dynamic applications. Streaming is useful for display instant loading states and stream in units of UI as they are rendered. And also we have the support for data fetching. So using it, we can sync a server component and extend the component level fetching. Next.js 13 introduced a new file system based router built on top of the React server components with support for layouts, nested routing, loading states, error handling, and more. So let me first show you how you can use pages directly in the React application. I already have the previous Next application installed in my local system. So I'm going to just open the existing project of Next.js and here is the pages directory. Using this pages directory, you can create different routes, right? So here I have the about.js file. Inside this index.js, we have the default page of this Next.js application. And now if I create another directory here with the name dashboard, and inside this, if I say page.js, let me copy the code right from here, specify that here. And this is for dashboard. Save the changes, open the terminal, enter into the next app, and npm run dev to start the development server. So once we have the development server, I'm going to open the HTTP localhost 3000. So this will just start the development server on the localhost, and I'm going to have my default page. If I want to access my dashboard page component, then I'm just going to say here forward slash, specify here dashboard, and then specify here page. And I press enter. I'm going to have my page component as a response. If I want to make the default route for this dashboard directory, then I'm simply going to create here index.js file. Now this index.js file is the default file for this dashboard. So if you try to access this dashboard, then you're not going to get anything because we don't have any file for the default route dashboard. If I copy this page function right from here, specify that right here and say default dashboard index then you'll notice this is the default route for this dashboard folder so whenever you try to access this dashboard you're going to get this default route so this is the basic use of pages whenever you create a new file that file became the route for your application and if you do the same for other directories something like if you create another directory here with the name settings and if you create a file inside it something like page.js copy and paste some code here settings and if you want to open this file, you have to say here settings page. And when I press enter, I'm going to have my page component. So this is a very simple route we have in next 12. With next 13, you will get app directory with some routing feature. So let's create a new app. Right now, next 13 is in the experimental feature. So if you want to create the next chess app, you have to open your terminal, city into your parent directory. And I'm going to create a new directory here with the name next exp for experimental app and then if you want you can specify any name to this directory that's up on you and then i'm going to enter into the directory so i'm going to say here cd next exp and here i'm going to execute a command to create a next application so to create a next application you have to say npx create next app and you have to specify here latest because we want the latest version and then you also need to specify here hyphen hyphen experimental app you have to specify this flag otherwise you will get the previous version and you're not going to get the latest advanced routing feature in your next.js application right now next.js is in the experimental feature that is why we need to specify this flag after the create next app command once the next.js 13 officially release you don't have to use this flag so for now let's use this flag and then specify here dot because i want to create this application inside this current directory so I'm going to press enter. So this is going to create a new next application. I'm going to say here yes. And would you like to use the TypeScript with this project? 
I say no for now. Just specify here yes and press enter. This is going to install all the libraries inside this application. Now, once you have your project, just clear the screen and specify here npm run dev. This is going to start the development server. Now, let's open the localhost 3000 and you're going to get the result something like this. You're going to have your welcome window. And now, if you back to your explorer tab, inside your experimental app, you're also going to have a folder called app. And inside this app, you're going to have some components here. Right now, inside these pages, you're going to have your hello.js. And we have this file inside this API directory. If you open the layout.jsx, this is the default JSX for this application. If you open the page.js, then you will see you are going to have all this UI right from this page.js file. In the previous version of Next.js, you are going to have your default file inside these pages. By default, components inside this app directory are React server components. This is a performance optimization and allows you to easily adapt them. The app directory makes it easy to lay out complex interfaces that maintain state across navigations, avoid expensive re-renders, and enable advanced routing patterns. Further, you can next layout and co-locate your application code with route. You're also going to have here a layout file. If you open it, then you will see we have this default layout for all the pages. You can see this title to this page. So whatever you add inside this app directory, that will add it inside this body tag. Right now, the app directory is the root route of this application. So now this root route currently representing this app directory. Let's suppose that if I create here dashboard and let's create a new file inside it. If I create a file here page.js, let me just paste the default function here. Save the changes, access this component that I'm going to say here dashboard forward slash page. When I press enter, you can see I still can access the routes of the pages. Let's suppose that if I add the same directory right inside this app dashboard, inside this dashboard, if I add page.js file, do the same right here as well change this page to app page it's still going to load the pages directory but if i try to create index.js file right inside this app let's suppose if i add here index.js with a function index page if i back to my component and if i back to the index component then i'm not going to get anything here but if you move this index.js file right inside this dashboard like this and if you back to the dashboard you can see you're going to get your default component as a response if you try to create this same index.js file right inside these pages let's suppose if i create here index.js pages index page and if you back to the home page then you will see you're going to get an error message here please remove one to continue this error says that there is a conflict between this app and this pages component. What you have to do is you have to remove one of your root path file so the app will have only one root. So if you remove this index file right from here, now the root path of this app is this app folder. So now if you restart the development server, reload the browser, you will get the result what you want. Now there are different files you can create inside this app folder, just like page.js or jsx. Layout.js or jsx, then you have loading.js then you have error.js and you have template.js and you're also going to have head.js this file comes with the features for example this loading file is an optional file used to create a loading ui for your specific part of your application and with this app component you're also going to have the layout.js file which is one of the most important feature of this app directory a layout accept another layout or a page as its child and can be nest layouts to create nested routes. I'm going to make a complete tutorial on all these pages when there is an official release of Next 13. If you find anything useful, make sure to press the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.